Hi everyone, I am Masood Saeed, a social science psychologist. Have you ever pondered the question, does God exist? This question has puzzled humanity for centuries, sparking debates that span the spectrum of human thought. Today, we venture into the realms of philosophy, science and divine revelations from Quran and Hadith to explore this eternal question. Consider an analogy drawn from the Holy Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 117. بَدِيعُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَإِذَا قَدَ أَمْرًا فَإِنَّمَا يَقُولُ لَهُ كُنْ فَيَكُنْ بَدِيعُ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ When he decrees a matter, he only says to it, Be, and it is. This verse suggests that God as an entity that initiated time, space, and matter and must therefore exist outside these dimensions. Tracing back the chain of events, there must be a first cause, an intentional force, evident in the creativity, intention, and purpose observed in the universe. A common counter-argument asks, who created God? This question, while fair, falls into an infinite regress. The concept of eternal existence is supported by hadith recorded in Sahih Bukhari. Kan Allahu walam yakun shay'un ghayru, kan Allahu walam yakun shay'un ghayruhu. God existed while there was nothing else. In this exploration, we propose replacing one infinity, an infinite regress, with another, an infinite being. Critics may argue this narrative is to fit our definition of God. But if the concept aligns with observations of reality, the rationality of people across all ages and societies, and the divine revelations in the Quran and Hadith, is it still just a narrative? Numerous honest, righteous individuals have pointed to the existence of one God throughout history. Contrastingly, the atheist perspective often appears to create diversions to fit its own agenda. Atheists generally argue that everything arose from randomness, which doesn't require a rational explanation. Belief in God, however, seeks a rational and moral explanation for existence. Believing in chance is fundamentally improbable. Prominent mathematicians like Roger Penrose have calculated the improbability of the universe arising by chance. Given the design and purpose we observe, it seems more reasonable to believe in an intelligent mind behind it all. While some may argue that our existence is proof that such an improbable event occurred, this doesn't negate the improbability of it happening without design. Imagine a random word generator that given infinite time randomly generates all literature ever written in the correct order. It would be absurd to attribute that to chance Similarly, believing in a world that is the product of random events seems equally absurd. In conclusion, the question of God's existence is not one to be taken lightly. It demands a careful examination of our understanding of the universe and our place within it. The pursuit of this question leads us on a journey of self-discovery, contemplation, on divine revelations and a deep understanding of the world around us. Having considered the philosophical, scientific and religious arguments, let's delve into the psychological perspective. As a social science psychologist, I have spent years studying the intricate workings of the human mind and its relationship with belief systems. It's fascinating to observe how our beliefs shape our realities. Firstly, there's a psychological need for belief in a higher power. It stems from our quest for meaning and purpose in life. This belief provides a framework for understanding the universe and our place in it. It offers comfort and solace in times of hardship, and it gives us hope for a better future, thereby contributing to positive mental health. Secondly, the role of religion and belief in God in societal structures is immense. It influences moral codes, laws, and norms that govern societies. It fosters a sense of community, 
belonging and mutual respect among its followers. For many, religion serves as a guide, setting standards for ethical behavior and decision making. Thirdly, belief or disbelief in God impacts human behavior and decision making. Those who believe in God may be guided by religious teachings in their actions, while those who don't may lean towards secular humanism. The former group might make decisions based on their faith's moral guidelines, while the latter might base their actions on rationality and human rights. In conclusion, belief in God, or lack thereof, has profound implications on both individual and societal levels. It influences our thoughts, actions, and overall mental well-being. Whether one believes in God or not, these beliefs play a significant role in shaping our perception of the universe and our place within it. As we continue to explore this eternal question, let's remember to respect each other's beliefs and perspectives. Do not forget to tap on the like, subscribe, and share buttons.